plants and other types of foliage provide us with oxygen in order for us to be able to breathe. While they giveth life, they also taketh away. From the suicide tree to the lily of the valley, here are the most poisonous plants found on earth. Hey guys, it's Tinder Thoughts, and I'm today's guest host on Taltanic. But more on that later. For now, let's get to the video. 21. Manchineal. This toxic flowering plant is found growing in southern North America and northern South America. Every single part of it holds strong toxins. Not all have been identified, and it's the apple-like fruit that's most poisonous. That's how it gets its name. Manzanilla de la Muerte, or apple of death. Sap from the tree causes painful blisters to form if it touches the skin, and can even erode the paint on cars. Smoke from burning the tree can cause eye injuries like corneal defects. In some regions of South America, the trees are marked with a red X for safety purposes. 20. Larkspur The larkspur is commonly found in the northern hemisphere, but it can also be found growing in the high mountains of tropical Africa. All aspects of the plant are toxic to humans and livestock, though the younger ones are more so. Cattle poisonings are fairly common in the western region of the United States, where ingestion of the plant causes neuromuscular and cardiotoxic effects. Fatal consequences can occur in only a matter of a few hours after ingestion has occurred. Some animals, such as the small angle shades and dot moth larvae, species are able to consume the plant as food, despite its toxicity. 19. English Yew The English Yew can be found growing in parts of Europe, Asia, and Africa, where it can grow to be around 400 to 600 years old, scientists say. The oldest yew happens to be the ester yew, found in Normandy, that's somewhere around 1,600 years old. The entire plant is known for being very toxic except for the berries. Just don't eat the seeds, as those are toxic, though luckily not as toxic as the leaves. Some symptoms of poisoning include convulsions, cardiac arrest, and even muscle tremors. Believe it or not, no symptoms can also be a symptom, which can prove fatal without treatment. 18. Gimpy Gimpy Found in its native region of Australia in places like Queensland, don't let this cutesy name fool you. The plant also happens to go by the name Stinging Bush, more appropriate. Brush up against it and you'll experience the exact reason why the plant was named such. Its natural defense comes equipped with stinging hairs all over it, that give off a strong neurotoxin when anything comes in contact with it. The stinging can last from a few days to possibly even a few years, as experienced by a man back in 1963 named Ernie Ryder, who felt the stinging for two years after he was slapped in the face and torso. 17. Giant Hogweed This invasive plant is native to the region of Asia, but has since also been introduced to other parts of the world, like Canada, Europe, and the United States. What's interesting about giant hogweed is that it happens to be phototoxic. What that means is skin that's been exposed to its sap and then sunlight triggers a chemical reaction, causing a blistering and burning sensation. The blisters are able to leave black and purple scars that can last for many years. If exposed, it's recommended to wash the area right away with soap and water, and keep the area away from any sun for a while. 16. Rhododendron This genus contains 1,024 species of plants, such as azaleas, and is most commonly found in Asia. Known for being the national flower of Nepal, it's also been introduced in several places in the world. Nepal, though, is the country where they use it as an ingredient for dishes such as fish curry. Some species of rhododendron are quite poisonous to raising animals, especially when it comes to horses. This is because of the toxin gray in the toxin, found in their nectar and their pollen. Humans have been known to get sick from honey that bees have made by feeding off the rhododendron flowers. 15. Golden Rain Not to be confused with the science experiment of the same name, or a golden shower, the Golden Rain, or Pride of India, is an ornamental tree that originated in Eastern Asia, particularly in Korea and China. The plant was introduced to the United States back in 1763, and has since become a popular tree to use for landscapes all over the world. Although, it's considered considered to be an invasive species in eastern areas of the United States, such as Florida. 14. Daffodil This flower seems like it'd be completely harmless. However, that is not true at all. Daffodils are pretty toxic, not only having disastrous effects internally, but externally as well. When ingested, certain species of daffodils can cause convulsions, abdominal pain, and paralysis. While rather large quantities are required for someone to be in danger of dying, people who handle the flowers like florists and gardeners are at risk for developing daffodil itch, which involves scaling, dryness, and other other nasty side effects. 13. Brugmansia, also called Angel's Trumpet. Brugmansia is native to the region of South America, specifically in the Andes mountain range. It's here, they grow on the sloping landscape at a height of 6 meters or 20 feet. All parts of the plant are highly toxic, capable of causing hallucinations, both auditory and visual, paralysis of smooth muscles, and eventually death. It's been said that Brazilian natives smoke the leaves in order to experience the narcotic effect that will supposedly help with asthma. 12. Oleander. This little shrub is all sorts of toxic trouble which is ironic as it's used in plenty of gardens and landscapes. This is because oleanders are pretty easy to care for and grow at a very rapid rate. Not to mention, their funnels are prized for their appearance. Due to the fact that oleander is so widely cultivated, no one's entirely sure of where it originated from. However, some suggest perhaps Asia. Individuals unlucky enough to suffer the effects of poisoning will experience seizures, tremors, and a coma that can slip into a more permanent sleep. 11. Autumn 
crocus, another plant that's popular with home gardeners. Autumn crocus is adored for the beautiful purple petals that it comes with. It might be pretty, but its true nature is rather ugly. Filled with high levels of a toxic chemical known as colchicine, this plant is said to have the same toxic effect as arsenic poisoning. Mild cases of poisoning include diarrhea, a burning sensation of the mouth, and vomiting. More severe cases can expect heart attacks, kidney failure, and kick in the bucket. 10. The Suicide Tree Found growing in the country of India and other areas of southern Asia, the suicide tree gets its name from the high amounts of suicide and homicides it's used for. Between the 10-year period of 1989 and 1999, there were 500 of these fatal cases in the Indian state of Kerala alone. This is because it's able to be slipped into food as its taste is masked by the strong spices and it's very hard to identify during an autopsy. One kernel alone has enough poison to prove fatal in just one to two days. And that sweet relief is just after you've experienced, but not limited to, severe vomiting, irregular heartbeat, and a coma. Number 9. Foxglove Also known by their more sinister nickname, the Dead Man's Bells, foxgloves can be found growing in the regions of Europe, both Western and Southwestern, Northwestern Africa, and Asia, Western and Central. Those who ingest it are said to experience diarrhea, nausea, and vomiting. Those are just the least horrible of the symptoms. Children are usually the ones who accidentally end up with the plant in their system. Fatalities are pretty rare, but they have been documented. 8. Doll's Eyes Located in the areas of Canada and the Eastern and Midwestern United States, the doll's eye plant grows in these regions because they thrive in the loamy soils. The plant gets its name from the appearance of the white berries it produces, with a black scar, thus making it look like a doll's eye. The berries also happen to be the most toxic part of the plant, as it contains cardiogenic toxins that affects cardiac muscle tissue. This can lead to cardiac arrest and even death. 7. Aconite But you probably know it more commonly as wolfsbane, or monkshood. Considered as being extremely poisonous, most notably the seeds and roots, it's recommended to handle with care by those who do so. With more than 250 species in its genus, it's mostly found in the mountainous regions of the northern hemispheres of Asia and Europe. It should be noted that not all species of aconite are regarded as being poisonous. 6. The Lily of the Valley With such a sweet-sounding name, the Lily of the Valley is the exact opposite of sweet, as every part of the plant is deemed poisonous. The only thing sweet about it is the pleasant fragrance it gives off, which is misleading. Distributed throughout the regions of Europe, North America, and Asia, this plant is filled with chemicals that can trigger serious heart problems. Not only that, but those who accidentally ingest it can experience blurred vision, vomiting, and abdominal pain. Number 5. Rosary Pea Also referred to as the crab's eye and the coral bead, the rosary pea is an invasive little weed that's known for its pretty clusters of bright red seeds. These seeds have been used as beads in jewelry and percussion in instruments. The seeds are also known for being laced with a toxin known as ubrin. Just ingesting one of these seeds will prove to be fatal by anyone who does so. 4. Water Hemlock This harmless-looking plant is recognized as being the most violently toxic plant in all of North America. This due to the fact that it contains a toxin called cyclotoxin that directly affects the nervous system of us humans and livestock. Only a small dose is needed to send us into a state of aggressive seizures. Symptoms, such as muscle weakness, twitching, and anxiety, can persist for months after a poisoning takes place. Number 3. Jimson Weed Identifiable by its white flowers and the spiky seed pods that adorn it, and belonging to the nightshade family, Jimson Weed is known for being a very powerful hallucinogen because of the tropane alkaloids it contains, but it's also used in medical doses as a painkiller. The lethal dosage is only slightly higher than that of a medicinal dosage, which has caused careless users into being hospitalized or even overdosing. Number 2. Deadly Nightshade This perennial herbaceous plant is native to the regions of Western Asia, Europe, and North Africa. It's also managed to be introduced and or naturalized in certain parts of the United States and Canada. It contains toxins such as atrophine, scopamine, and hyacyamine that attack and disrupt the body's parasympathetic nervous system. The poisonous plant has been used since before the Middle Ages for a variety of nefarious purposes, such as lacing the tips of arrows and numerous assassinations. Number 1. The Castor Bean Currently listed as the Guinness World Record holder for the most poisonous plant in the entire world, the castor bean is as deadly as they come. Also known as Ricinus communis, the entirety of the castor bean plant is poisonous, but the seeds are the most, as they contain a highly dangerous toxin known as ricin. Have you seen Breaking Bad? It's 12 times stronger than rattlesnake venom, and with no cure, death can occur in between 3 to 5 days. Just 7 seeds are enough to bring down an adult human. If you liked that video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you liked me, maybe check me out on Hinder Thoughts right over here. Thanks. See you later. Oh. <laughs>